All right, so in this video, we're continuing our review, and um, we're going to be working with complex numbers now, picking up here with number 25. Now, when we had the quiz, a lot of you guys made the mistake of doing some sort of a distributive property. So I'm hoping that I've gotten the message through to you. We are not going to multiply 4 times 6 and get some kind of 24. Oh, no. We're going to combine like terms, and that is all. So all we're doing is we're doing 4 and 6 makes 10. And then negative 2i and negative 1i makes negative 3i. In fact, I think that was the problem off the quiz. Oh, Mr. Fom. Cutting and pasting again. All right, any question about number 25? OK. Number 26. Again, I am not multiplying anything. I am not distributing the 4i. This is addition. So, go ahead. Speak up, sweetheart. Are we just like going to combine them? We're just going to combine them. When you see a plus in front of parentheses, just erase the parentheses. So, I, w I would just like to recopy the problem without the parentheses real quick to make it more obvious. Okay? So, now it's clear. Um, that I'm going to put the 4i and the negative 3i together. Um, that makes 1i, or just i. Then I'm going to put the 7 and the negative 2 together. And that's going to make positive 5. Now, if you wrote this down on your paper just the way I have it, you would lose like one point. Do you know why? Yeah, it's got to be the other way around, okay? You get a minus 1 if you write it backwards like this. It's got to be a plus b i. It's got to be 5 plus i. My friend. Never mind. Never, never, never mind. Now, looking at number 7, you have to be slightly more careful than number 6. I mean, 26. With a negative, you can't just erase the uh, parentheses. You have to distribute that negative sign. All right, you have to take that negative one and distribute like this. All right, so that's going to give you negative 8 and then positive 7i. You have to do that. All right, this part, I'm just going to bring it down, 5 plus 3i. After that, I'm just back to combining like terms. 5 and negative 8 make negative 3. 3i and 7i make 10i. That is all. Any questions on number 27? No, sir. Okay. All right, so number 28. I am not going to distribute the 8. However, I am going to distribute this negative 1. All right, so the negative 1 has to get distributed. That's going to give me negative 4 plus 2i. Everything else just comes straight down. The 8 comes down, and the plus 3i comes down. So now I just combine like terms. Well, 8 minus 4 is 4. 2i plus 3i is 5i. Do I need to switch this around, or is this the way it's supposed to be? That's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. Quicker. Um, so this time, we will distribute, because there's no little plus in here or anything. So this is going to be negative 8i. OK? Now watch this carefully. Some of you guys were confused by this. 2 times 2 is 12. Yes. But i times i is i squared i squared and you don't leave it like that no. oh no what's i squared negative, negative, negative one. one negative one so you have to do the fact that i squared is negative one um you don't have to show the step that i'm showing now most of you will do this step step in your head um that i'm multiplying by negative one so that's going to make negative eight i minus twelve and then you, um, th this is backwards. So I have to switch it and make it negative 12 minus 8i like that. Would we get points off if you wrote it? The minus 1. That sucks. 
It sure does. Losing points always sucks. Quote, unquote. All right. Number 30. We definitely have to do a double distributive property here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to distribute that. So that's going to make negative 3 plus 5i. And then I'm going to distribute the 2i. So that's going to make positive 6i minus 10i squared. There's that i squared again. That's a little negative 1. Remember that this i squared is really a negative 1. That's going to change this over to a positive 10. All right? So the rest of it is still what it is. All right? And then you just combine like terms, and that's it. Um, so negative 3 and positive 10, that's 7. 5i and 6i, that's 11i. So that should be your answer to number 30. Any questions? <coughs> all right, number 31. I hope we all know by now not to square the pieces. All right, well, if you want to do a binomial times a binomial, you're going to foil it, double distribute, whatever you want to call it. Um, Darlene, when you go out, will you close the door for me? They're getting loud. Foiled again. Yeah, so we definitely have to double distribute this. So that's going to be 4 minus 8i. And then that's going to be another minus 8i, positive 16i squared. That i squared is a negative 1, so that's going to change this to a negative 16 without the i. And then you just combine like terms one more time. 4 and negative 16, that's negative 12. Negative 8 and negative 8 make negative 16i. So that would be your answer to number 31. Any questions on number 31? Oh, yeah, number 32. If you were, We only did this one day. So if you were absent that day, you're like, what? I have no idea how to do this. So you better pay attention. This is your last chance. It was all about conjugate. The conjugate. Remember, if I have 2 minus i, do you remember what the conjugate is? 2 plus i is the conjugate. So that's the key to these problems. Let me blow it up bigger. You have to multiply by the conjugate. Okay, so you look at the denominator and you multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So I have 2 minus i, so I'm going to multiply by 2 plus i. And you have to do the same thing in the numerator. OK, is anybody lost right now? OK. So in the denominator, I'm just going to FOIL that out. OK, I think I'll just bring it straight down. So in the denominator, um, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times i is 2i. Um, negative i times 2 is negative 2i. Negative i times i is negative i squared. Did I lose anybody in the denominator just now? All right, I'm double distributing. I'm foiling. OK? Um, in the top, I just distribute the 10. So that's going to make 20 plus 10i in the numerator. You see that i squared, right? I know you see it. What happens when you have i squared? It's a negative 1. OK, but be careful. I have a negative i squared sitting here. Do you see it? So that's like a negative negative 1. So it's going to wind up being a positive 1. Do you understand that? Negative i squared is a negative negative 1. It's going to be a plus 1. Um, so. The positive 2i and the negative 2i, they cancel each other out. So 
So I'm going to wind up with 4 plus 1 in the denominator. So 5. So 5. I'm going to wind up with 5. So I've got 20 plus 10i. Okay, so like you said, I have 20 plus 10i over 5. And then you're supposed to separate this apart and make it 20 over 5 plus 10 over 5 i. Am I going to leave it like this? Is this my final answer? Why not? Yeah, what's 20 over 5? That's 4. So 4 plus 2 i. And that's your final answer. Any questions about number 32? Um. All right, this will be the last one on this video. Again, we do the conjugate of the denominator. So 3 plus i, the conjugate is 3 minus i. And we have to do that in the top as well. OK, when I FOIL this, I'm going to get 9. Um, and I'm going to get hmm, I get negative 3i and then I get positive 3i. Those are going to cancel out. Then I have negative i squared. Be still. Up here I've got 3. Alright, and then let's see outer I've got negative i, inner, I've got 6i, and last, I've got negative 2i squared. Okay, I'm just going to deal with the i squares now. So that's going to make 3 minus i um, plus 6i plus 2, and then 9 minus 3i plus 3i plus 1. That's going to give me in the numerator 5 plus 5i. And then the denominator is going to give me 10. That gives me 5 over 10 plus 5 over 10i. That's 1 half plus one half i.